everything. Joining us now via Skype is Thomas Rafter. He's a former special agent with the FBI. Thomas, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, take us um, through the process here. What are investigators doing right now to figure out who's behind all this? Well, a couple of things that they're doing, um, and it's uh, widespread. Obviously, uh, the New York uh, JTF, uh, Joint Terrorism Task Force, is taking the lead. Uh, but there'll be task forces around the country, uh, specifically in the cities where the packages were found, that'll be involved. Uh, one of the uh, most important things is that none of the packages, uh, packages exploded. Uh, so that provides a, a wealth of information for the investigators. Everything from uh, DNA uh, evidence to fingerprints, uh, components. Uh, the investigators will be tracing um, the serial numbers on any of the components, trying to determine where and by whom the uh, uh, components were purchased. Um, so they'll, they'll be going through that. Uh, the task forces, you know, uh, there, there's a command post in New York. Uh, there's probably one in uh, Newark, my old division. Mm -hmm. uh, just because of its proximity, there'll be a command post in each of uh, the cities where uh, the uh, pipe bombs were received. Let me ask uh, you, that, can I get your, your take on this? I mean, because this is a lot of uh, you know, potentially explosive devices but none of them have detonated. And I'm wondering if you read anything into that. Do you, do you think that the person uh, or, or people who created these devices intended for them to go off? I, personally, I, I find it hard to believe that uh, they intended to uh, explode. Uh, I believe uh, this was meant to strike fear. Um, you know, it's very close to the midterm elections. Uh, so, um, you know, it made its way uh, all the way through the uh, mail system without uh, any explosions. Now, my understanding uh, from some of the reports as well as some information I've received is that uh, the design was rudimentary. Uh, there wasn't anything there that would ignite the packages. Uh, but, you know, uh, obviously I'm not actively involved in the investigation. Sure, sure. Uh, you know, this is just information I'm receiving. Thomas, these, you know, these packages have been found all over the country, and with all of them, will all of them actually be sent to one location, say Quantico, Virginia perhaps, or, and, and how important is it for the same group of people to investigate all these packages? Well, all the packages, um, they'll, they'll be reviewed on a couple different levels. In New York, uh, the New York Bomb Squad will take a look at it. Uh, as you know, uh, at least one of the pipe bombs, if not all of them, have been moved to the uh, uh, FBI in Quantico, Virginia. Um, whether all of them are going to go there, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, they have the ability to send uh, the relevant technicians out to those locations so they could be reviewed uh, and inspected uh, on site. Uh, that'll that'll uh, eliminate the need to move it all the way across country or long distances and uh, provide information in, in a more uh, timely fashion. Certainly a lot of evidence for those uh, agents to sift through. Uh, former FBI agent Thomas Raftery, appreciate your insight tonight. Thank you. Uh, good night.